Can't believe it. The second, the second, I finally get my Pokemon transferred over here from Galar and, and, and Alola. And I, I can't find her anywhere. She's not in Kitakami, she's not here. Where did she go? Go ask around a little bit. Rotom, aren't you a god phone? Shouldn't you know the answer to this question? Uh, hmm. don't, don't know what they're up to. It's a little weird. Who even knows her? I have no idea. Yeah, you haven't seen her. Uh, I don't know any of these people. It's almost like they don't have names. Are you anybody? Yeah. <laughs> Feel you, man. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Little friends. <laughs> Go away. Do you like all the Murkrows around? I have a soft spot for them. What's mysterious? Not you! Excuse me. Seriously? Yeah, uh huh, sure. Tell your Pokemon to stop talking to people. Unless they want it, they want it to. That's weird. I didn't that, that I didn't know you could do that. Can I like get a look behind the wall by by doing that? It's not gonna let me do it again. All right. <laughs> okay. Seriously though, out of character. I know the people I'm looking for are here somewhere. I know it. I saw them in the, in the directory. So where the hell are they? Did I just I just overlook them somewhere? It is starting to get annoying. Oh, wait! This, what? Hold on, why are you- why are you dressed like people? Uh, yo, hero! Yeah, hey! And not every day you get to see him around the academy, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm hardly ever here. But for sure! And we're not in the same grade as hero either, so it's lucky we bumped into him. You doing alright, pal? Not sure what to make uh, that dumbfounded look you got going. You look like human beings. Uh... <laughs> I feel like I know you. <laughs> well, that's right. I forgot we're not wearing our new outfits today. Oh, man, that he mentioned it. I guess this is the first time you've seen us looking all proper in our academy uniforms. They're terrible-looking uniforms, too, by the way. Uh, now I feel all awkward about it. Yep. <laughs> Team Star! And like, holy crap, Aerie is, is extremely cute. Um, I did not expect to, to be saying that today. Uh, uh, we came in today to make some, or take some makeup tests. Figured it was about time we started clawing uh, back all that uh, learning we missed out on while we were holed up in our bases. Our Team Star outfits aren't all that practical for tests and things, uh, so we came in our new uniform school uniforms today. Uh, hey, Air, you think Hero could help us out with our ongoing sitch? What's what's up, guys? Uh, hey, that's that's right, great idea. Uh, what are, what are you thinking? We got a little uh, we got a little proposal for you. How'd you like to be a tutor? I am a, I am technically a teacher here, I guess, so... Jeez, one step at a time. Maybe we should start by explaining what's going on. Alright, you guys can, can waste my time e explaining this to me, but afterwards... You have to answer some questions about somebody I think you know. Or at least Penny knows them. Alright, go ahead. Whoops, right you are, Ari. So, uh, okay, basically the other Team Star bosses are having a rough time of it. Do you remember Melly, Ordi, and Atticus, right? Yeah. Uh, those three, yep. Uh, they've been taking makeup tests like us, but they sure ain't passing them. They might actually have to repeat the year, which would suck after all the effort they put in to come back to school. 
I mean, you guys had to foresee that as a possibility, though, right? Before you ask, me and Ari have already tried tutoring them ourselves. It didn't go well at all. Nope, you know, I, I seriously didn't think those three would have such a hard time. I mean, for me, it, it feels like all you need to do to pass the test is learn formulas and memorize stuff. That's correct. I guess I just can't wrap my head around what it uh, is they can't wrap their heads around. Uh, okay. And I'm only good at teaching people if it's to do with sports or exercise. Yeah, you and, and Dendra get along. We hear from Penny that your grades are pretty decent. Um, I mean, I've taken a few classes, I guess, while I was here just for funsies, and they were fine. I bet even Ortega and the others would perk their ears up if you dropped by to teach them. Uh, which loops us right back into my opening refrain. I think you could help uh, tutor for us. I mean, I am good at literally everything I try, so yeah, sure. Again, gotta, gotta give me that info afterwards, though. Thanks so much, Hero. You really are the best. Whoops, almost forgot. We uh, gotta uh, keep this under wraps, okay? No telling Penny. We've stressed her out enough for one lifetime. There's no way we can bother her with this. Yeah, this will be our little secret, okay? We'll be right here, so come let us know when you're ready you know, to start. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've got time, I guess, technically, so sure. God, they look so different. It's so weird. Uh, yeah, let's go. Music for my ears. Let's go lay down a killer study sesh. Okay. <laughs> you can walk. So funny. Sub get gang uh, studying hard, I hope. Well, we were before you and your big mouth showed up. Here to check we're not slacking off, are you? Pretty much, your eyes start glazing over the second I, I'm out the door. Tell me I'm wrong. Ah, Lady Airy, clad in her academy uniform. I feel mine eyes sharpen and my mind focus each time this vision returns to greet me. If only that focus were helpful for your studies, Atticus. Sorry I keep distracting you. You down bad, man. Oh ho, what's this? My ninja senses detect the presence of another behind thee, Lady Airy. Come, step forward, knave, that we might see thy face. It's just me. Hey, how's it going? You, what the? No, no, no. Why is this happening? <laughs> yeah, screw you. Ah, I should have surmised as much. The strength of thy spirit precedes thee as ever, good fellow. Uh, yeah, that's true. Never mind that. Giacomo, explain what's Hero doing here. Hey, now be nice. Hero, wait. No, Professor Hero is going to be your tutor. Yeah, I'm a teacher here. Seriously. Oh, glad tidings. I'm truly grateful to hear it. He's gonna be what? Since when? Now, you can't just go stomping around styling stuff like this without asking anyone, Giacomo. And you. We don't need a tutor. Do us a favor and toddle on home, would you? Hey, just because I'm short doesn't mean I'm, I'm a toddler. You're, you're more a toddler than I am. Jerk. Hey, Ordy. Hero kindly agreed to come here and help us out. So talking to him with that kind of attitude... It's unacceptable, right? God, yeah, no, totally. I... Sorry, Ari. Sorry who? Uh, what I meant to say was sorry, hero. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, Lady Ari, in a menacing mood. What a vision of unusual rarity. He's down. Bad. Don't blame him, though, frankly. Hey, don't worry about Ortega. He just doesn't want uh, to want you to see him floundering. Yeah, I get it. It's fine. I, I, I'm used to people being less impressive than me at things, so it, I, it, it won't bother me. Hey, guys. We seem to have lost Melly. Where'd she go? Lady Mella declared her wish to stretch her legs minutes before your arrival. She departed rather suddenly and has not returned since. Well, we all know Mella. She just wandered off because she doesn't feel like studying. I hate to say it, but I guess that's probably true. Sorry about this, hero. But you think you could go find Mela for us? She'll be somewhere in the academy for sure. We'll stay on, uh, stand by here and get everything prepped for our killer study sesh. 
I'm bad at his accent. Uh, sorry to keep relying on you like this. I hope you find Melly without much trouble. I'm literally, like, you guys, this is nothing. I, I promise. Like, there was this one time that some guys, including the regional champion, relied on me to literally stop somebody from resetting the universe. Um, I'm used to it, and also, like, seriously, I, I barely even notice this kind of stuff. And where would she be? It's probably not gonna tell me, right? Oh no, it tells me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's go easy mode then. Guess I had my god phone hack the... the school cameras or something. That, that could be the explanation. Where'd she get to? I, oh, this is cute. Gyarados hanging out over here with the Magikarps. What do you have to say? It took a lot of effort to get Magikarp to evolve to Gyarados, let me tell you. I mean, yeah, maybe if you're bad at it. Can I do this? I can. Wee. This is, what, a fire hydrant? I've never really looked around out here. I'll go get back on, on task, but, like, this is actually pretty neat. Mala. Where you at? Oh, she's probably gonna look different too, isn't she? Hey, you seen Mel anywhere? Uh... Um, that's weird. Okay, I, I guess that that makes sense. Yeah, just don't don't follow him anywhere, okay? Oh wait, there she is. Holy crap. Oh, hey, hero. Uh, Mela, is that you? Seriously, you have eyes, don't you? Obviously it's Mela you're talking to. Oh, right, I guess I'm not decked out in my usual gear today. She looks extremely cute, too. I'm really liking these character redesigns. And it's not like they've completely lost their personalities or anything, and they still wear their outfits. It's just, this is a different way they can look, and I like it a lot. Harry made a big fuss about wearing our uniforms for this study group thing. So, yeah, it's not like I have much of a choice. Yeah, she is the strongest of you by a wide margin. Even stronger than Penny, arguably. But what are you doing here, anyway? <laughs> See what she says to I came to raid your base. A raid, sorry pal, I'm not in the mood for a nostalgia trip right now. Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, okay, you came up here to bring me back to the classroom, huh? Dang, she looks cute. Just very cute character design. I guess uh, time got away from me while I was admiring the veggies. Might as well get going then. Still walks the same, even though she's not wearing the big stompy boots. I think that's adorable kept the same walk cycle for her. Ugh. This is fun. Like, Atticus and Ortega don't look that different. Sup, amigos? And Millie, welcome back. And Hero, thanks so much for finding her. Uh, so, uh, where were you lazing about this time? Yeah, you know, here and there. Lady Mella, is something amiss? Nah, we're all good, right? The dream study team's all here. That's what counts. Time's a-wasting, so I say let's hit the books. Take it away, Professor Hero. These three are counting on you. Yeah, um, okay. What, what do I do now? Do I, like, talk to each of them? I have no idea how this works. I just don't know this is a thing. Hi. She's so tall. Like, Hero's short. But, like, dang, she's tall. Like it. Hello. Okay. Yeah, how am I supposed to know how... Or how am I supposed to know this? I don't get it. How's it going, bud? Don't think I didn't see you and your smug face hovering there. You've got some nerve. I am pretty smug, aren't I? Realize I'm a second-year student, right? I'm above... An entire year above you? Dude, I'm a champion in, like, 60 regions. Get over yourself. 
<laughs> Harry says, we need uh, to let you help. So fine, you can try to tutor me or whatever. But I'll be shocked if uh, you can get this literature stuff to sink in. I mean, how am I supposed to know how some made-up characters in a story are feeling? See, the protagonist of this book is the mom in a mousehold family. Her name is Mama Mousehold. We're supposed to analyze why she calls Papa Mousehold terrible in this passage. Mama Mousehold's eyes glittered with tears. It was clear from the letter Papa Mousehold left that she would never get to see him again. Toying with my feelings right to the end, you really are a terrible thing. Um. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Heh. <laughs> So she called him terrible, but she actually loves him? Why doesn't she just say that, then? There's no way that's the right answer. You sure about that, my man? I'd have I thought you of all people could, would relate. What's that supposed to mean? Only that you do exactly the same thing with Hero. You're always snapping at him and being difficult, but you actually respect him a ton, don't you? What? You must be joking. There's no universe in which I respect this oaf even a little. Love this kid. Nah, -uh, no way, nope. Oh, fine, okay. I guess... Uh, people are tempted to say the opposite of what they mean sometimes. Hmm. This question makes more sense to me now, but just a tiny bit. Thanks for not being entirely useless. b b, -b baka Hey, man. What I know is that I know not. I have fathomed the death depths of mine own ignorance. If you st spoke English, maybe it would be helpful. Ah, noble sensei. Comest thou to... Uh, <laughs> Proffer me a helping hand. His 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 um, vocabulary is fantastic. I love it. <clears throat> My deepest thanks. Mathematics is the scourge of me too, man. Oh, this might be difficult. This might be hard, actually. Even though it's a child's game. Like straight up, I flub addition sometimes. It is an unsolvable mystery. But since my true calling lies in garment design, I feel I need not concern myself with numbers. They, they have not to do with fashion, after all. Uh, no, you'll still need numbers for that, man. Even basics. Hmm. Skill in mathematics will still be of service to me, you say. I do not quite follow. I think I know what here is getting at. It's like with our Team Star outfits, remember? We ended up spending a lot of money on them. As indeed we should, one must not shy from expense when creating objects of great quality. But we had reams of fabric left over after the outfits were made. Don't you think we could have saved more money there? I... I cannot deny it. Tis a fair point. I was talking like measurements and stuff, honestly, but, you know, she's, she's got a point. Now that I think of it, the garments dimensions and the cost of materials demand calculation. Okay, okay so, yeah, that does fall under measurements, too. Yeah, we're on the same page, then. Uh, and if selling one's creation, or if selling one's creations, profit margins do come into play. A designer who pays heed to such figures and sums would surely prove the superior artisan. It would seem my thinking was naive. I had turned thine eyes from the inconvenient truth. That decides it. My heart is changed and my mind made up. And from now on, I would devote myself to the study of mathematics. Hiya! Oh, sorry, I kind of butted in on your tutoring just now, Hero. I'm glad it all worked out, though. Thanks to you, Atticus seems to, seems really inspired to study. He's the type that gets totally absorbed once he's fired up, so I'm sure he'll be just fine. Cool. All right, did you have more? Because you said just a tiny bit before, right? Okay, here we go. The tale of uh, three spite ops whose brotherly bonds are even more tangled than the webs uh, they weave, huh? Another family sob story? All right, do you like... Okay, no, he, he's he's okay for now. Mala, what's up with you now? Man, this is hard. Huh, what are you looking at, hero? Oh, yeah, you're our new tutor, aren't you? Big dumb grin. All right, then, I was just doing some practice questions. Yeah, let me know if you think this one's true or false. You can get new Pokemon only by catching them yourself or trading with other trainers. Um, no, you can get gifted Pokemon, too. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Can't go forget- Oh, yeah, eggs, too. That's true. Okay, next one. Uh, what is the name of the gemstone that glows over a Pokemon's head when it terrestrializes? Terra Jewel, I think? I don't know. Yeah, that sounds about right. I guess it makes sense you know about this scene as you have your own Terra Orb. Either way, terrestrializing is pretty awesome, don't you think? 
Only outstanding students get to have a tarot orb all for themselves, though. Okay, next one. This has a zilch to do with the test, but uh, I want to ask you something. I know how to put it, though. It's a tricky one. You gotta promise not to laugh, okay? Uh, if I didn't laugh when I saw your hairstyle, I wasn't gonna laugh at you at all, frankly. So, uh, how important do you think dreams are? Um, like, our future goals? Exactly, I'm talking about the future. Uh, what uh, we want to be when we're older, that kind of stuff. I've got no idea about all that right now. Yeah, I feel that, honestly. <laughs> Getting a little, little real IRL there, man. Uh, meanwhile, most of the Team Star seems like they've got it figured out. They've got proper dreams. Even the veggies in the schoolyard are doing their best to grow, you know? I wish I had their kind of direction. I mean, what'll happen if I never figure it out? What if I never find a dream to chase? Honestly, I get scared just thinking about it. You have your art. Huh? How do you know I joined the art club? Well, whatever. That's just a hobby anyway. Not like I'm going to do art and earn a living. Wait. Now I think about it. Uh, Mr. Dragonbrows does art for his job. He always looks like he's having a great time at school. It's like he's not working at all. If I could do something like that, if I could paint for a living, that'd be crazy fun. Do you think that it could be it? Is it really okay to call that my dream? I mean, absolutely. And if you, if you need something else to do, like the Team Star bases, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if one day you guys turned those into gyms or something. Straight up. Do both, you know? That's right. That's gotta be it. That's my dream. Man, I feel like a whole new person. Thanks, Hero. You're welcome. Continue to be the tutor for a while. Alright, gang. I'd say it's about time uh, we cue this outro and wrap up uh, today's study sesh. Yes, great effort all around. Does everyone feel like they made progress today? Totally. I uh, sped through my practice questions like a champ. I guess Hero wasn't the worst, uh, or the world's worst tutor. Well, I learned that even math, or even arithmetic can be enthralling when engaged. No, it can't. You're wrong. <laughs> Thanks to our esteemed tutor, I feel enlivened as a rev of room drenched in poison. I feel like uh, someone's used defog on me, man. I'm seeing everything so clearly. The knowledge is just pouring itself into my brain. Oh, that's brilliant, everyone. Well done. It's, it sounds like this was our best session yet. It must have been thanks to your expert tutoring. Hero, it really was kind of you to help us out. We prepared a little thank you gift from all of us, so here you go. Thanks, man. Hey, cool. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, cool. And let's do Team Star's pose together, too. Here, I'll teach you how to do it. Nice. What, guys? What are you all doing here? Benny! Yeesh, busted. Um, I was just walking down the hall and saw you all in here. But but that's fine. No one asked me to join, so I should just leave, shouldn't I? Sorry about that. See you later. Lady Penny, wait. It's not what you think, Penny. Hear us out. So what happened here was... Phew, I thought you'd all decide not to talk to me anymore. You need to get that anxiety under control, girl. We would never. Uh, that's what it must have looked like, though, huh? Sorry we made you worry. We just didn't want to uh, drag you into another one of our messes. Our bad, Penny. Well, apology not accepted. But wait, for real? Why do you guys get to decide that I'd uh, just be weighed down by your problems? I I'm your friend, right? So you should... Come bother me more. Lean on me. That's what it actually make me happy. Oh, Lady Penny. A and if things get really bad, I can just hack into the school system and fix your grades anyway. What? That's a terrible idea. Uh, yeah, isn't that taking it a bit far? No, I think that's fine. Uh, sorry, that, that was a joke. I was trying to lighten things up in here, but I guess that was pretty out of... It literally wasn't. You did that with, with the... With the school funds and stuff, or the, the league funds or whatever you did. Glad to hear it. If you were serious, I would have had to pummel you, uh, some sense into you. But about that, I'm actually a pretty good tutor, you know. So feel free to ask me to help with studying and stuff anytime. 
Lady Penny, we are honored by thy generosity. Ugh, does that mean we gotta get lectured by Hero and Penny now? Yeah, well, I guess there are worse things. B -b -b -baka. Ah, careful, my man. That was dangerously close to a straight-up compliment. Uh, you can just come right out and say you like the idea. We all know you're thinking it. Indeed, I need not even use my ninja senses. Show so childishly apparent are thy true feelings. What? As if you know what's in my head. Yeah, you guys haven't got the first clue about me. Try getting to know me better before it's about nonsense, huh? You're all the worst. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> hey guys, I think we broke Ortega. Laugh, laugh, laugh. That was cute. Now I've got some more stuff. Let's check this out. Not bad. Yeah, sure. I like it. Bit more cash. Oh, shoot. I forgot to ask him about that girl. Wait, she's where? She got to go where? She did what? Well, I guess that gives me an idea of how to get her to do what I wanted her to do.